Alright guys and welcome along to another episode here on the Ark and we are on the admin game on the island because I want to have a look at the borders they've put on for the new biomes I think it would be pretty cool so that's what we're going to check out this episode and after that we are in the perfect place once the update drops oh you can look over the edge can't you when you do that yeah neat little trick that you can't actually see in first person view but when you go third oh yeah look at that I wonder how that would work with the uh, raptors sort of down there making a little hunting pad but anyway getting off topic <laughs> yeah when the update finally drops and we go too far too well doesn't say interesting this is single player I think it's too far too yeah, we get the Diplodocus, Leeches, and Swamp Fever. Yet nobody's actually said yet how to cure Swamp Fever. But we do know if it's also Red Leeches. The black ones just suck your blood. The red ones infect you as well. Because they're nice like that. Anyway, I've built this. Uh, yes, admin in. I just wanted something different. And the good thing about having the admins is you can mess about the original bases over there. Uh, we've got Polly over here and Tyrannodon, which does need renaming. This is the second one. Come on. Play nicely. There we go. I've maxed out its levels. Full XP. We're good. And the plan is if we throw on... That's Purdy. I need to be on me. There we go. We have meat, we have food, we have a spyglass. We don't need that. We're good. Yeah. Right, let's go check this thing out. I've not actually seen it yet. I just know it's over here somewhere on the map. If you've not seen the changes yet, it's where me is on that map. It's that island. The whole thing is going to be Redwood Forest. So, let's see if we can spot this thing. It's basically a wall they've put round. Uh, from the images, it looks pretty cool. But let's say I've not seen it yet, so I don't know how big it is, how small it is. Let's find out. Oh, hello. Found it. <laughs> cool. So we're looking at here then. Safe zone. So this side's the safe zone, correct? Yeah. What's this say? Uh, move out. <laughs> Your days are numbered. Right then, let's have a little tour around and see how big it is. That's going pretty far out there into the river. Have we lost it? No, no. Oh, it's going all the way across. Oh, that's going to be interesting then. Oh, it is right across. Screw the swamp. <laughs> oh, wow. This is a lot bigger than what I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be tucked up to that edge. Where'd he go? This is a big change then. What's the betting it does not come out on time? This is May the 30th now. Where'd he go? There he is. So we've left that area alone. We've come up here. Now it's tucking in. Nope, it's going again. <laughs> this is cool. It's a nice touch. It gives people an idea of where... I mean, that's a nice little building area there. Anybody got a base on there, you could be there. Up shit creek without a prehaddle. Especially if you got some good stuff. Like that metal base I've spawned in. To rebuild that would suck. And to actually build it le yeah, legitimately would suck. Have I lost it? Nope, it's over there. Ah, so it's cut back again now. So this little island's going to be okay. Correct? Supposedly. Well, I imagine the devs know what they're doing with this particular line because it is zigzagging all over the place. If it was just a rough guide, it would just be pretty straight, wouldn't it? So those Brontos there, that Rex, they're all in for a spanking. I wonder what happens. Is the game going to run a Destroy All Wild Dinos itself? It's got to do, surely. If they're changing the elevation, those are all saved at a certain point. They could end up under the ground, correct? 
Actually, if they're a few feet off the ground, it's not going to bother them because they'll land. Oh. Oh. Now that's interesting. I wasn't expecting that. So all this is going to... Oh. Now correct me if I'm wrong, but that picture they released did not show this being all the way over here. <laughs> I wonder what's uh, that. Uh, I think that save game that I've got for the server is going to be useless. <laughs> Half of him is going to get fucked. <laughs> because I've got that base outside the swamp cave. I wonder what's going to happen with the swamp cave as well. Whoa, where's it going now? Oh, it's cutting right over here. I see a Rex. I did just make a spyglass legitimately as well, I might add. Level 4. Psst. So this bit's going to get a serious spanking too. That's kind of a shame. I don't, I always kind of like this bit. Where's it going now? Ah. So the beach is going to survive. Alright. So we got all the Gallimimus from, wasn't it? What's that spinal? Apart from very pretty. Level 9. Yeah. I don't actually know what the difficulty is on this. No idea. <laughs> I wonder just how much this cliff here is going to change because that's been quite a prominent bit. I think, uh, well, down at the foot, just in there, was the first time I ever tamed a Rex. Uh, Enzo, Satis, and the lads had built a base up there on this plateau. But that looks like it's going to survive. But yeah, fun memories. That was the original ghost. And it was a level 64, I believe. That was when the server was set up to 120 max as well, so he was pretty useless as far as Rexes go. But he was just my first. It was back when the game was new and exciting and I was not comfortable in it at all. To the point of I got him killed, I had him unfollow and took him into the sea. That was before they stayed on the surface. So yeah, the poor guy died. Bless him. Divert. Got to check out the divert. I'm gonna hazard a guess and say that nothing is above level 30 on here, what the hell? <laughs> Ants, incoming, really, you're gonna make this mistake? Level 14, level 13. Stamina on this guy was something I did punch, so we should be alright. We have pretty much sprinted over half the map and back again. And he's still got half. That's another diver. I see you. Level 10. Yeah, 30's max, isn't it? <laughs> it's gotta be. Raptors having fun. Okay, it's... Oh, there's beavers over there, isn't there? Uh, I need to move that. There's no point in it being back there. There we go. Really? What the hell? Fool. Another fool. Yeah, level 25. Yep, it's looking like 30. <coughs> so then where's it come over here? Because this is a bit I'm familiar with as well. Now before this became the swamp, this used to be a really cool area. There was like a bridge of land and it was always full of brontos. I believe it was down at the foot of that somewhere. Carl had a base. He uh, ventured out on his own. I think it was here. And he had a base. I got the oh, ants. Kill them all. <laughs> uh, I just about remember it now. I don't think I've got any video of it though. It's such a shame. Should have flown over the areas before they changed the swamp. Anyway, we're 
back to the beginning then. So that's what we're going to lose on that one. Uh, the next bit is up in the cold zone, isn't it? Let's go see if we can find that one and have a fly around. It's been a while since I've been on this map. It does feel like home. We're not landing there. <laughs> Scorpion and a car now. Yeah, I'll tell you where we are landing there. Raptor there. Yep, we're going to put down on this. I think the first time I walked through here as well, I got destroyed by an alpha. That was fun. Uh oh. Don't do it. There we go. But this is what inspired me to have the Rexes, not the Rexes, trikes. The big trikes. And the next time I came through it, I owned the Alpha. It's just the first time. <laughs> it's an unforgiving game. The amount of times I've flown down here looking for Parasaurotheriums and Brontos to harvest with Esmeralda <laughs> for Prime. They were the days. I'm not sure if there's any beavers up here actually. I don't think there is. Is that a saber tooth salmon? I moved to three, Anna. A spider? Where'd he go? I lost him. I really did. That is a salmon, isn't it? Yes, it is. <laughs> cool. Where'd that spider go? Is he actually running away from terror birds? Oh, bless him. Level two, big girl. Yeah, he is, he's fighting with terror birds. I can't see him winning this then. He's got one of them. But the fact he's run away, he's already took a beating, hasn't he? Well, they've caught him. But he's killing salmon on the go, isn't he? So he might get away with this. Yep, I think he's done him. He has. Good effort. <laughs> what the hell? Is there an abundance of spinos on this island now? Yeah, level 22, nice. If the max level 30, I really need to change that. I wonder how the Diplodocus... Well, no, actually, no, I can leave it. There's more chance of finding a Diplodocus. <laughs> it's the 120 running around. Apparently, they are ridiculously friendly and cannon fodder. Like, are we cold yet? Nope, but why take the risk? Here we go. I did pump... Oh, white one. <laughs> Just looking for the hell of it. I can't even remember what this used to look like now. I know Enzo and Satis, uh, when we split up and then into tribes, Enzo and Satis had a base over here. Uh, when the river came round, they had it on the side, and they fell out with it when the snow came in. I think we had a server crash as well just before. They'd just got the base sorted out and that did it for them. To the point they've only started playing again since we came on the centre. They, they needed a break from it. It happens. You're overheating, really. <laughs> this is some good armour. Well, it is, what, full ascendant. Yeah. Extra insulation, probably a little bit too much. I might even be able to get away with this stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I just spawned it in with quality 100. So, where's this one going to be then? Ah, oh, found it. Do we start from here? And go follow it then. Where'd he go? Right, it's sticking in the river. That was big. 
I think it's just a curl, but it was big. A dirty water that goes red on a night. <laughs> oh wow. It loops over there a bit. That's interesting. Hmm. Oh, I'm not butchering this again. This was an awesome spot to build. Oh, Rex is having a paddle. I was thinking about going for that blue drop. I'm thinking against it now. Level one. Oh, is he chasing a penguin? <laughs> yep, he's chasing a penguin. Come here. Right then. So this is all gonna be snow biome. Let's follow it and find out. I think we're going to lose this mountain. Hmm. Kind of makes sense, but is the island really big enough to support this size snow biome? I mean, it's quite a big map, but. I don't know, it's because I'm so used to it now. What are you? Huh, Pronto. Will be nice to have another big sauropod. Oh, it's a hello, ghost. That's why he's suffering. Oh, there's two of them. Ah, uh, it's not ghost, he's red. Same pattern, wrong colours. But yeah, I think a bigger map would be happier. Oh, that's getting got as well. Interesting. Now, are they going to leave Paradise alone? Or is Paradise in for the chop as well? I think Paradise is going to survive. Where'd it go? There. Right, yeah, Paradise has survived then, because Paradise is over there? Somewhere? Maybe? I think it's over here. I've never actually built here. Yeah, there. Beavers? Lots of beavers. And Dilo's causing trouble. But I've never actually built here. Every time we started another server, someone else has got here first and claimed it. Just the way it goes. Have a little drink of water, a little bit of food. Let's find that line again. So we are definitely losing that mountain. Now where'd the line go? There it is. We're back. It must be gutting if you've got a base up here and you're on the wrong side of that. All that time and effort you've put in, you've got to make a decision, haven't you? Do you ride it out and see if you lose stuff, or do you pack up and move out? The best thing, I imagine, would be to. Well, up here it's going to snow, isn't it? So you're screwed. It's a, a challenge living in the snow, especially if you're on the edge of it because you don't want to be in it. Oh, it's coming. Whoa, this is going to be quite big. This is supposedly marking terrain changes. They're not just covering it all in white and having done. Hmm. I've lost it. Find it. There it is. I remember chasing that bloody giga around up here. That was hilarious. Not. That is the last default team giga I think I'm ever going to do. Without a trank mod on anyway. Right, where's it going now? It's going over here. And they should be taking us back now to where we started. Oh, taking a sharp left. 
cutting around the volcano. I've lost it. Nope, oh, I'm on top of it. And then it comes back, and we are where we began. Cool. So those are the biome changes then. The big areas. They've done a lot of work. The estimates are it's not going live today. <laughs> The art guys seem to be very ambitious with the ETAs. Am I about to run out of stam? Might survive. Just because of how slow it does go down. We'll see. It's an admin game. It's the worst that can happen. I've not worked hard for any of this. Um, I don't appreciate it like you do when you work hard for it. I really want to come up here and just have a look at the volcano, knowing full well nobody's built here. <laughs> this will be a sight you never see. Look at that. Nothing. Nobody's here. It's all resources. Beautiful. Natural glory. <laughs> How's that then? So that entire island is going to get doctored. It's going to be a redwood forest. It's going to be interesting. Very interesting. I'm looking forward to seeing it actually. As I know there's some specific dinos coming out for it. And uh, they were on about doing treehouse stuff as well. There's going to be another building tier. Like you get thatch, wood, stone, metal. There's going to be a treehouse specific one. Which you can build into the redwoods. So I'm going to guess you can't harvest them. That would make sense if you can build a treehouse. Unless someone's going to come along with something and tear your treehouse down. Right? I was kind of hoping for a shed load of wood. Stick a beaver on a redwood and have done. <laughs> One tree, build a base. But maybe not. Either that or it's going to have a hell of a lot of hit points. But, eh, we'll see. It's going to be fun. Very fun. Alright guys, thanks very much for watching. We will see you next episode, uh, which will be after the patch has dropped. And we're going to try and catch swamp fever. And cure it. As well as check out all the other nicky little bits. One thing I do want to play with, above all else, is the follow distance. You can now set distances on follows. So for the little stuff, you can have it following closely, because it won't clip and get stuck. But for the mammoths, one mammoth following another mammoth, you've never been able to do that. If you can now set them so they don't get stuck in each other, that is a big improvement. And a step in the right direction. For the AI of Ark. But anyway, catch you then guys. Laters. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to hang around. Catch you next time.